Okay, welcome to part two of the DFT. Uh, in this part, we will talk about the matrix form of the DFT. So we have the matrix form of the discrete Fourier transform. Okay, uh, recall recall that x of k, which is the forward direction of the DFT, equals to the summation from n equals 0 up to n minus 1, x of n e to the minus j 2 pi k times n over capital N. This is for k between 0 and n minus 1. And its inverse transform as x of n equals to the summation for k equals 0 up to n minus 1 x of k e to the j 2 pi k times n over capital N. This is for n between 0 and n minus 1. Those are the, the two pair of the transformation. For simplicity, we will let w sub n equals to e to the minus j 2 pi over capital N. So this is this is not actually a constant. It's it's a variable function of the capital N. So as N varies, this constant will, will also vary. So it's not really a constant. Okay, so if we use this, the, the upper summations can be written as X of K equals to summation from N equals zero up to N minus one of X of N w sub n to the power n k. This is for k between 0 and n minus 1. And the inverse also x of n equals to 1 over n summation x of k w sub n to the minus n k. By the way, I have uh, I missed the one over n constant here, so please just do not forget it. Okay, so we have one over n in in this one. I I just miss it. Okay, if we use matrices by using matrix notations, matrix and vector notations. Yeah, and here is k equals zero up to n minus one. So if we use matrix and vector notations, we can uh, put the time domain sequence x in the following manner. We have x of zero, x of one, up to x of n minus 1. So this is a column vector of n by 1 size. And x capital, which is in the frequency domain, we can also put it in the same way. So this is x of 0, and this is x capital of 0, x capital of 1, in a, up to x of n minus 1. So this is also n by one size column vector okay so if we if we expand or by expanding by expanding the above summations If we expand the above summations, we can write uh, 
we can write the DFT in matrix notations. as follows can put x of 0 x of 1 up to x of n minus 1 equals to a matrix that has the first row of ones, then one w sub n to the power one, w sub n to the power two, up to w sub n to the power n minus one. And we continue one w sub n to the power two, w sub n to the power four, up to w sub n to the power two times n minus one. And the last one is also started with 1. And w sub n to the power n minus 1, w sub n to the power 2, n minus 1. And the last item or element in the matrix is w sub n to the power n minus 1 times n minus 1. Multiplied by the x vector in the time domain, x of 0 of 1 up to x of n minus 1. So this is a simplified form of the summation. And this one can be written in a matrix in a shorthand notation. And notation as shorthand notation x e, sorry, x capital equals to d sub n times x where d sub n is the dft matrix of size n times n. So the, this is a shorthand notation, x capital, this is the vector of in the frequency domain, x small is the vector in the time domain, and this is a matrix, d sub n, and we, we know that you only need the size of the vector n, if you know n, then d sub n is already established, okay? All right, so, and the inverse, DFT will be as x small of 0, x small of 1, up to x lowercase or small of n minus 1 equals to 1 over n times also, the first row is all ones, and the first column is also all ones, and this one here is w sub n to the minus 1, w sub n to the minus 2, up to w sub n to the minus n minus 1. And this continues until the last row, w sub n to the minus n minus 1, up to w sub n to the minus n minus 1 times n minus 1 multiplied by the x of 0, x of 1 up to x of n minus 1. So this can be represented in shorthand notation. So in short and notation x small 
or lower case is equal to 1 over n d sub n complex conjugate times x capital. So if you go back, this is how the inverse Fourier transform can be implemented. To get the time domain backward, you have to multiply 1 over n times d sub n complex conjugate. Okay, where d sub n complex conjugate, this is a, the complex conjugate of d sub n. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Recall from the linear algebra or in linear algebra We know That AX that if let's say AX equals B then We know that X is equal to a inverse times b, where a inverse is the inverse matrix of a. Okay, so if if we use this result. we can conclude conclude that d sub n inverse is equal to 1 over n d sub n complex conjugate. This is a very useful useful result okay okay so we end up with very simple uh, <coughs> matrix multiplication formula for the dft and the dft inverse let's try to use the same example we used for the definition here uh, and try to implement it using the uh, matrix notations. So backward to our example, let's uh, take the same example we had it before. So we have x of n equals to 1, 2, 3, and 1. And we need to find x of k using the matrix So by, we have n equals 4, so we need d4 matrix, and this d4 matrix is equal to 1, 1, 1, 1, one. this one, w sub 4 to the power 1, w sub 4 to the power 2, w sub 4 to the power 3, also n w sub 4 to the power 2 sub 4 to the power 4 and w sub 4 to the power 6 and the last row 1 w sub 4 to the power 3 w sub 4 to the power 6 and w sub 4 to the power 9 and if we evaluate those using w sub 4 as given previously we have one, four ones in the first row, one minus j minus one and j, one minus one, one minus one, one j minus one minus j. So this is our D4 matrix, okay? Okay, so to find the Fourier transform, so we'll find x, capital x of k which is equal to this d4 matrix 1 1 1 1 
1 minus j minus 1 j, 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1, 1 j minus 1 minus j, multiplied by our time domain sequence, which is 1, 2, 3, and 1. So in the result, so you have to multiply the first row with the column to get the first element. So this is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1. In the second one, we have 1 minus j2 minus 3 plus j. The third element, 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 1. And the last element is 1 plus j2 minus 3 minus j. And the result is 7 minus 2 minus j. Um, 1 and minus 2 plus j, which is exactly the same result that we got using the <coughs> definition concept. Okay. I will use exactly the same uh, example to also use the inverse. So in example 2, we need to find x of n for x of k equals to 7 minus 2 minus j, 1 minus 2 plus j. So we have an example with, which has four elements, 7, this is the second element, minus 2, minus j. Maybe this is not written in a, in a good way. So we have x of k, let's say, is equal to, as a metric vector form, 7 minus 2 minus j, 1 and <coughs> minus, sorry, <coughs> minus 2 plus j. So this is our x of k. To find x in the time domain, we have to use the <coughs> matrix notation. 1 fourth, this is 1 over n, times 4 ones in the first row, 1 4 ones in the first column. So this is w4 to the power minus 1, w4 to the power minus 2, w4 to the power minus 3, and w4 to the power minus 2. 4 to the minus 4 and w4 to the minus 6, w4 to the minus 3, w4 to the minus 6, and w4 to the minus 9. <coughs> the result here will be 1 fourth and the complex conjugate of the d4, 1, 1, 1, 1. Uh, sorry, here we have to multiply by x capital. So uh, we multiply it by x capital. So this is the matrix. Once this is 1, j minus 1, minus j. 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1. 1, minus j, minus 1, and j. And this one is multiplied by x of k, which is here. So we have to multiply this by x of k, okay? So if we multiply this, so x mod equals to 1 fourth one, 1, 1, 1, 1, j minus 1, minus j, 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1 minus j minus 1 and j multiplied by 7 minus 2 minus j 1 minus 2 plus j and you will get 1 fourth 4 8 12 and 4 and this is equals to 1 2 3 and 1 which is our original x of n. So this is the uh, 
as an example, demonstrating the uh, using the matrix form for finding the DFT and the DFT inverse. Okay, so we'll end up here and start the next part uh, next time. Thank you.